Welcome to Sessions Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Sessions Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to look at working with minor client records in Sessions Health. To add a new client, we can just click the Add button from the Client screen. If you haven't watched the video on setting up clients, please watch that as there's a lot of details that we're not going to cover again in this tutorial. To set up a new minor record, we just click Minor. And a minor record is set up just like an individual in the system, but we do add some additional interface options when setting up the minor record to make it easy for you. To set up the minor record, all we need is first and last name. We have an email address. That's great. We can enter it here, but it's not required. And obviously, many minors do not have an email address. But if we still want to provide portal access to the parent, we can associate the, the parent with the minor record by using this contact section. If it's a new person that we don't already have in our system, we just need first name and last name. If we have the email address, that can be helpful for giving them portal access, but it's not required. And then there's options to set them as the billing contact, which means that any credit cards that are associated with the parent will be used for payments. There's another tutorial that gets into this in more detail. And we can also select whether or not the parent should receive appointment reminders. And we can keep adding contacts by clicking this button. Maybe this is a contact that we already have in our system. We can click, click the existing contact tab and we can just start typing and we can find the name of a person who's already in our system makes it easier. We'll make them the billing contact and receive appointment reminders and click Create. And now our record is created. We can see this minor needs to go through the setup process. We're not going to do that in this video because we've covered it in the client setup video. And if we want to see the contacts that are associated with this minor, we just go over here to the right side and scroll down and we can see that contact that we added during the setup process shows up under contacts. And we can see their emergency contact, they're set as a billing contact. We haven't set this relationship part yet because you can only do that from here. And this information was pulled from the record that we already had for this person in the system. If we click the three dot menu, we can edit. So we can set a relationship and we'll say this is a legal guardian. Any additional information. We can also configure this contact to receive session feedback at the end of each session if you would like to do that. If you want to get to the contacts record within session self, separate from the, the minors record, you can just click on that person's name and now you're at the contacts record. If you need to change any information such as their details, you can do that from there. Let's go back to the minor record though. And what we want to do is if we want to send intake forms to the parent or guardian, we want to click the portal tab for the minor, we can see there's two tabs here. The minor has a portal. They can't get to the portal because we didn't enter an, an email address. If we enter an email address, we can send documentation to the minor. And there's a portal tab for the contact that's associated with this minor. We want to give them access and we want to give permissions for 
what they're allowed to do in relationship to the minor. They can view appointments, they can do online booking, they can manage information or not. It's up to you to provide permissions that you want to provide. And now you can also manage the documentation and you can send whichever forms are relevant and you can also you'll see whatever forms you have in your account and press continue and then we're going to send that invite to the contact so now the contact is going to be able to log into the client portal and they're going to have two sections in their portal they're going to have one section for the minor and they're going to have one section for themselves so that there is separation of that documentation between records. The contact cannot see any documentation sent directly to the minor. So if you give the minor access to the client portal and send them documents, there is a separation between these portals and growing person, the legal guardian will not be able to see any documentation sent only to the minor and vice versa. The minor will not be able to see any documentation that was sent directly to growing person. This concludes setting up minors and working with minor records and sessions health. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at sessionshealth.com.